If there's one person that might be able to make COVID-19 just disappear, it could be Greg Fruin. The Niagara Falls magician has recently reopened and he couldn't be happier to be back on stage. If retirement is what I just went through for the last five months, I'm never retiring. <laughs> I'm very excited, you know, it's great. Uh, I grew up wanting to be a magician. This is all I've ever wanted to do. So being on stage, that's my home. That's where I feel the most comfortable and I really missed it. So uh, yeah, last Thursday was our first show and it was great, so excited. Fruin said, although it was a different look, crowds are really enthusiastic to see live entertainment. Yes, it was weird to see, we're not used to that in theater, seeing people spread out and, you know, social distancing. But I will say, we've never had a more excited audience uh, than we had this past weekend. People are loving it. You know, we miss that. We miss that communication with each other. So I think, uh, even though the crowds are smaller, it's definitely as enjoyable, if not more. Fruin was grateful to his staff for how quickly they adapted to the new procedures and he outlines some of the new safety protocols. We've tried to really, uh, you know, uh, try to build a staff that's more like family and, you know, we've got some great people here and they were so easy when we came back. Obviously everyone knows the situation we're in, we're not having to explain, hey, guess what? Uh, so everyone was very open and welcome to it. And not only that, some of our staff even went above and beyond what we expected. Things that we didn't even think about, because we tried to think of everything, of course. As a business, we're trying to think how far are people gonna be? How do we get them in? How do we get them out? All these things, right? And so, yeah, the staff's been amazing. Uh, I just wish we could have more shows right now for them, uh, but we're at a limited point right now, so we'll see how things go. So for us, uh, like everyone now, masks are of course uh, uh, mandatory, but we have such a large theater. Our theater is so big and our lobby is even bigger. We're very fortunate. Many years ago I always said like, because this place is expensive to run, I thought, well, wouldn't it be great if I had a smaller lobby and just downsize everything? Now I'm happy because not only do we have the room to facilitate people in the building, or in the theater itself, but uh, also in the lobby. So the one thing that we really had to watch was obviously how people uh, interact or move around. And the biggest thing would be leaving. So we actually do it in zones and in areas. We don't just let everyone get up and go. Try to maintain, and you know the great thing is, everybody is willing to work together. So we've seen no problems, nobody's fighting the system or having problems with it. And we just basically say after the show, hey, it won't take long, but just like an airplane, we're gonna get up and go out, like, you know, little by little, just make sure no one's, uh, you know, interacting or going in between each other and things like this. Other than that, we have enough room to, to facilitate a lot, so uh, we're very fortunate. Fruin has always been involved in charities here in Niagara, and there'll be a few events coming up. We do have some corporate companies that are still coming in. Uh, we're going to be able to do things virtually here now like we did with the SPCA fundraiser shows. We have a complete video wall, we have all the cameras needed, so we're going to be able to offer them that. But we're also going to be doing some fundraisers for the SPCA. August 30th, I know that one's going to get hopefully nailed down to, uh, to do an outside event. We're going to bring uh, a whole bunch of food trucks in and have like a little food festival uh, to raise some money for them. Uh, we're also looking at doing there in November their big uh, final uh, of the year uh, gala dinner event, which we did here last year. So we're going to do that, but we're going to do it in a different way. We're going to try doing it partially with live people and partially virtual. Uh, so we're going to do it like half and half. So a lot of exciting things to come up for the future, for sure. If there's one positive that can come from this pause for Fruin, it gave him time to reinvent his show and create new material. Actually, I took the time during uh, the sort of lockdown and staying at home uh, and some of it's not even on stage yet, but to create, because I mean, I have to now work with my team and rehearse stuff. But it made me change my thinking, and actually it came at a good time, because we were actually looking at changing the whole show, the way we do it, the concept of the show, more story about me and my life. And this actually wouldn't have happened at a better time, because we were right ready to get into that, and this gave me a lot of time at home to work on new material, writing new scripts, uh, creating new ideas. Now, for the next six months, till next, I would say around next April, March, April, I'm gonna implement all those new ideas, new routines, and you're gonna see a whole different show than you did last year. So for me, I'm trying to get as much out of this as I can to move forward in a positive way. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.